All right, folks, today we have a 2005 Chrysler Town & Country minivan. So first things first, let's start it up. All right, as you can see, starts right up, no problem. Let's zoom in on our mileage again. 2,005, 185,731 miles. Okay, real quick, we're going to check out our equipment. So we'll start with our power windows. Check out the vents in the back. Let me swing you around here for the left vent. I don't know if you guys can see that, but open and close, no problem. And of course, driver's side window. All right, uh, we do have a power door on the passenger side for the rear door. You can see our little button here. It's always a nifty option. Well, that's nice. We got a police officer pulling someone over in our car lot, which is a pretty common occurrence. Um, anyway, Next thing we're going to check out is our radio. Let's get some music here and so some talk radio. We want that. All right. Um, I can tell you that the heat does work. Don't really need it today because it's pretty nice, but it's coming out nice and warm. All right. Um, Okay, so that's kind of just a basic look at our equipment. Um, last thing, I forgot about this one. Power mirror, you can see moving left and right there. Swing it over to the driver's side. Working just as it should there. All right, so let's hop out, take a look at the motor. All right, 3.3 liter V6. And as you can see right there, I'm just gonna be quiet and let you guys listen to the motor now. Let's have a look at the underside of the hood. You see a little bit of rust in a couple spots on the hood, but nothing major. No holes or rust through. Next thing we're going to check out is tread depth on the tires, which isn't great on a couple of these tires. We'll get to those in just a second. See our town and country hubcaps. All right, so we are at about 7.30 seconds on the front tire here. Uh, da, da, da. That's about 3.30 seconds on the back tire. Okay, this one's pretty low. Maybe 1.30 seconds. About 2.30 seconds there. Alright, and then the front tire again. We are at 7.30 seconds on the front. So you got decent tires on the front, one on the back that's probably going to need to be addressed fairly soon. Take a look on the inside of the vehicle here. Driver's seat, cloth interior, gray, gray all the way around. Gray cloth or carpet, gray uh, upholstery, everything's kind of gray. Okay, there's a look at our door panel. Take a look at our door jam. Let's take a look at the door itself here. See, we're looking pretty good. A little bit again, rust corrosion out at the bottom. Nothing too bad. Okay, bucket seats in the middle and a two bench seat in the back. Of course, removable. They're not the stow and go, unfortunately, but still pretty easy to pop out. I had them out when we were cleaning it. All right, like I said, there's a seat floor format. Let me fold this down. Let's take a look at the back. Back seats, you can see cleaned up. OK, 
Okay, and the floor. All right, so let's head around back, check out the trunk. And there you go. Obviously the big uh, nice thing about minivans, easily to fold down the back seats, make plenty of space, and if you don't need the back seats, you can, this is nice because you know it's not a bench, so it's pretty easy to pop them out. So if you need three seats in the back, you got it. If you need the three seater, bench you can have that set up um, so it's it's very customizable where the way you configure this the seating in the back so let's just have a quick look around here at our trunk space all right and we'll take a step back check out the tailgate see a little bit of corrosion there the rest of it's looking pretty clean all the way around all right Swing on over to the other side of the van. Check out our passenger seats. Nice and clean and floor. All right, let's fold this down. There we go. Check out this seat. So there's your middle seat belt there. In the floor. Pretty decent shape there. And of course, driver's seat. Power driver's seat, so let me show you that. You see the little tab popped off, but it still works no problem. All right, and recline, and then incline. Okay, let's get a look here at the floor. Let me get my floor mat out of your way. You can see floor. Uh, the, the carpeted floor mat's looking good. And the floor's in decent shape as well. Oh. Let me get this stupid thing back in there. There we go. There is our door panel. Pretty simple. Power locks, power windows. Here's the door itself. Okay, looking pretty clean there. And check out our door jam. Looking pretty good all the way up and around. All right, folks. So that is the interior. Now we're going to check out the exterior. As you can see, just a plain white minivan. This is a nice change from the silver that we always seem to get. Okay, so we're just going to start on this front quarter panel here. Fender, whatever you like to call it. Check that out. See, so looking nice and clean, nice and clean through the wheel well. All right, we're gonna head up to the top. You can see there's little bubbles in the clear coat here, and you'll see more up top. All right. But other than that, the body is pretty clean all the way around on this, this vehicle. All right, so we'll just follow this back to the front, and then we'll check out the door. Alright, so here is our driver's door above the molding. Alright, and now we'll get down low below the molding. There we go, that's a better angle. Okay, same thing on this side. Above the molding looking pretty good. Below the molding again. Let's start right there, there we go. Alright. We'll check out this back panel here. Tail lights in good shape, not all busted up. Gas tank. And wheel well. Looking nice and clean. All right, first things first, we're gonna get a shot of the top of the tailgate. And you'll see some more of the little bubbles, but no major paint damage or anything there. All right, we got a little dent here, but trunk opens opens just fine. Let's start on this side. Okay, we'll just get a down low shot of the bumper all the way around. All right, so that's that. Let's swing it around here. Here's our tail light again, nice and clean, not all busted up. 
head up to the roof from this side. Okay, and we'll just follow this panel all the way back. Alright, so there you go. We're pretty good here. Alright, there's our wheel well. scratch there. Nothing too bad. Let's get a shot down low below our molding. You can see looking pretty clean there. Alright, so there's that. To our front panel here. well. Alright, so now let's take a look at the hood. As you can see, pretty good shape there. We like to get the front part here. Alright, so that's it. Let me take a step back here. You see nice clear headlights and a low shot of the front bumper, which is again in good shape. All right, folks, so that's it, 05 Chrysler Town & Country. Next thing we're gonna do is hop in this thing, take it up and down the road. All right, folks, now we're gonna take this 2005 Chrysler Town & Country out on a quick test drive up and down the road here. All right, so first things first. All right, so he starts right up, no problem. And I'm gonna wait for the cyclist to go, go by. And we'll take it on a quick test drive. Well, maybe not. All right, he's taking a water break, so we're good to go. Folks, there we go, all the way up to about 50, 55 miles an hour. You can see hands off the wheel, we're tracking nice and straight down the road. Nice and smooth. Okay, let's see how our brakes feel up here. We're going to turn around. Alright, so brakes feel good. No pulsation or pulling. We're spinning it around and head on back. Okay. Again, there we go, all the way up to about 55 miles an hour, no problem, nice and smooth, shifts nice and smooth, rides nice and smooth. Okay. Alright, so the last little bit we're going to demonstrate for you folks is we're going to do it a nice brake check. And a lot of cross Mars, there's some gravel, so we'll step there and you know, see how our brake system works, the ABS, all that kind of stuff. Alright, so I'm going to pull over here, slow down a little bit, get lined up here, and just... So that's perfect. Stopped on a nice straight line. We didn't slide. You can normally tell, you know, if your anti-lock brakes, either you don't have it or they're not working properly, you'll slide in gravel like this if you brake hard. Um, we didn't do that. We stopped in a nice smooth motion. I could even, you know, feel the pulsing in the brakes, you know, as it kind of 
kicked in the ABS system. Okay. It's just the busy time of day. It's one of those things. This road is pretty, pretty busy. Not too bad. All right, folks. So that's it. Um, decent looking, good on the inside, kind of good on the outside, all around solid vehicle. So if you're looking for a van, um, a lot of people um, that we sell these to are actually use them for business. You know, painting, uh, any kind of um, work like that. Like I said, pull out the seats and you're good to go. So if you're looking for something that runs good, drives good, and you know looks reasonably um, good on the outside, this would be the van for you. Obviously, you know you can use it for a minivan and just throw all the kids in the back, maybe the dog, and take them on a vacation too. Okay, so again, uh, 2005 Chrysler Town and Country, and I believe it was 187. We'll double check and get the exact number for you on the mileage. All right, so let's do that right now. 185, 732, okay. So that's our mileage. Again, 2,585,732 miles. Um, if you're interested, folks, please give us a call. Thanks for watching, and we hope to hear from you soon.